Hello, welcome pen friends. I bet you wonder what all this is about. <laughs> okay, let me give you an even better view. I'm going to show you. Um, right here, what we have is a lot of ink samples. And up here in the in the containers are all my organized inks in the, by the various colors. And then right here and right here are 73 ink samples that I'm considering for the next uh, ink profile series. So I need your help because, it, like I said, it's here, here, and in here. That's 73 ink samples. So I thought it would be kind of fun if we look at them, if we look at all of the uh, ink indexes and swatches. And this one, I just happened to have these 11 on a panel. I wish I had them all on panels, but that's just not, that would just hold up the work so long. But at least with these 11, we can look at them this way, and then we can look at all these other swatches for the for the others. <laughs> there are quite a few here, so you may want to get a pen and pencil, uh, or paper, you know, fountain pen or whatever. <laughs> whatever that sounded funny coming from a fountain pen person. You may want your fountain pen and something to write on because what I'm going to ask for is your votes. You know, I'd like you to put in the comments, or if you're not comfortable with that, you can shoot me an email, but it'll probably be easier to just put in the comments if some of these stand out and you'd really like to see them. That way I can write them all down on little papers, and if we have more than eight, because I'd like to just set up for an eight series, and that will bridge us from now until we get the next ink flight box with seven samples. And it is hard to take 73 uh, ink samples that are all kind of exciting and narrow it down to eight. So I just thought maybe with a little help from my pen friends, it'd be easier. So here are 11. Um, we have J. Arbonne. Uh, now I'm not going to be able to pronounce these right, but uh, Ancre Classic Turquoise. And then Franklin Christoph Blue 72. Robert Oster Hippo Purple. And then down here, Ancre Classic, um, I think that was Buttercup is what it stands for, and I can say that a lot better. Monteverde Napa Burgundy, Monteverde Brown Sugar, KWZ Standard Brown Pink. I'm sure we could get our eight right from this, but it's not fair because other people have been sending ink too. <laughs> Pelican Edelstein Smoky Quartz, Monteverde Yosemite Green. Pelican Edelstein Olivine. We did an Olivine, but it was a different brand. And that has some unusual stuff going on. Colorverse Supernatural. So there's the first 11. And if, I have to admit, this is the most impressive of the, the way I've got it, you know, ready like that. Okay? And then uh, hopefully, you know, you, you got your pen or whatever. But if you didn't, you can always watch again. Okay, next I'm going to show you some... Um, I believe there are 10 Birmingham inks, so I'm going to try to put these down. Um, well, let me hold them up as I go, because these are smaller. Okay, the first one is Birmingham Smithfield Street Bridge Trust Blue. Okay, there's one. And then, I was spelling Birmingham wrong, so it's a mess on here, but... <laughs> the next one is Birmingham Allegheny River Twilight. Kind of a gray. Okay, and then... The next one is Birmingham Shady Side Walnut Street Brown. Okay, and then Birmingham Waterfront Dusk. Kind of purplish almost. And I've got a combination of light, so <laughs> bear with me here. Um, Birmingham Sport Donnelly Grass Stain. And it, it may look just a little bit more subdued than how it's coming across on the camera there. Birmingham Point, oh, let's have focus, Point Park Fountain Turquoise. Okay, there's that one. And then Birmingham Fred Rogers Cardigan Red. I first saw this on Choi LaPlante's video, and I thought it was really pretty, and now I have a sample of it, thanks to Awesome Pen Friend. I put initials, because I could really embarrass people today, <laughs> not without meaning to. Birmingham Thomas Mellon Evergreen. That's interesting. And then Birmingham Andy Warhol Pop Art Purple. I happen to now have a, a also a 30 ml bottle of this because it came free with a Twisby purchase from Birmingham Inks. 
So I've got a little sample and then the 30 mil, what's left of it. I did share some with a pen friend. And then Birmingham Fort, mmm, that might be French. Yeah, I used to go to school with a lot of people that had French names, but I can't remember how to pronounce them. Um, De Kisne? De Kisne? Oh gosh, I mangled that. Battle French Tricor. Anyway, <laughs> that's awful. I used to be able to say like Ducharme. I had friends with French names and I could pronounce them. Uh, I really could, but it's been a long time. Okay, so that's those 10. Hopefully you had a chance to see them or screenshot and slow down and look at them later or something. Okay. All right, so there's some more. Okay, now it gets a little bit different. Okay, I've got one category I'm going to wait on. Um, because I do have a category of rare and unusual ones that we may want to think about because it may be hard to get them. Okay, next up is Noodler's Polar Purple. This is a whole kind of little series of, of these polar inks that I understand came out 2017. And they're like, um, they have some special properties, but we can go into that if I review them. Uh, Noodler's Polar Blue. Well, not if, but when. It's just that some will be more interesting to everybody than others I guess. Noodler's Polar Black and then Noodler's Polar Green. So there's four for you to consider. I'll give you a second to maybe think about that. Uh, there may be another one mixed in somewhere. I thought there was another one so we'll see as we go. <laughs> okay when you're talking about 73 of them you're talking about quite a bit. All right this is not really a coherent category, but it's all kind of in the blue family. So Noodler's blue, uh, black and blue. Okay. Diamine Eau de Nil. Okay, that, that looks to me not quite as bright. It's a little bit more dark. I can't really make it happen though by turning it. Huh. Okay, then Sitz Kruznock Navy Blue. Okay. Uh, Noodler's Bad Blue Heron. Now, I'm not sure if that's available. I tried to do a little research, but I thought I'd be on that computer all day, and I wouldn't get the video done. And I'd like to be reviewing eight more inks, so... <laughs> okay, next is, um, oh, I've had this a long time. Uh, Robert Oster Soda Pop Blue, given to me by someone who'd like to be referred to as a penefactor, so <laughs> a very special person. Okay, and then, um, I mean, you're all special people, but but uh, this person actually got me started in fountain pens pretty good, so. Okay, so Diatramentus Night Blue Sherlock Holmes from another special pen friend, which you all are special, but. <laughs> okay, and then Kirshner Inks Moonview. Okay. Gosh, there's lots of different initials, but all of you are just super, super generous with me. My goodness. And then another one, Bunga Box 4B. Isn't that pretty? Um, there's just so many, and I have so many of these I like. I just need help here. <laughs> okay, then Monteverde Horizon Blue. That just jabs right out at me. That's definitely one I'm going to play with, <laughs> for sure. I mean, I like them all, but whew, that one just... It's amazing. And this one, too. Um, these just came in today. These two. Diamine Blue Velvet. Okay. And you know who you are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Till you're better thank you <laughs> in the mail. Okay. Um, Noodler's Ottoman Azure. That is interesting, too. Let's see. If I tilt it a little toward that window over there, then it looks a little more like it actually is. I mean, you know, it's not too far off. Okay, here's another one. Noodler's Steel Blue. Whoops. I really need to put it at a certain place to get a good focus. Um, I'm trying to make room for all of them, but it's almost impossible so that you could still see them while I'm talking. Uh, Fountain Pen Revolution Blue Black. It's another one. Pretty, pretty. Um, Nemocene Blue Snowball Nebula. Oops, let me hold it still. Now that looks wicked dark, but I can see the blue in it. So it, it's definitely, it, it's, it's a dark, like a blue-black, but it's, it's really pretty. Okay, so there's that category. We got blues from, goodness, there's one, two, three, four. This represents four special pen friends. Mercy. Okay, and this is over a long term, over a long time that uh, I've been getting these generous gifts. Okay, here's one. 
we're shifting to green now. <laughs> Noodler's Dragon Catfish Green. Wow, that is neon, isn't it? <laughs> and then, this is one I've had a long time, too. Um, Sitz Cruise Knock Palm Green. And it's not like the first time I picked it up, no. But I now do ink reviews so more thoroughly than I used to when I was a newbie that... Uh, it's like looking at them for the first time when I start doing what I do now with the panels and with the my ink journal and with sharing it with you guys and everything. And uh, another one, again, I've had this a long time and I really am partial to this one. Um, KWZ Green Number 5. I also like that company very, very much. And then here is, this came in through the door today too uh, with, with that little group. Um, Blackstone Dane Tree Green. It's looking very similar to what it looks like. Must be this camera likes green because it, it's a nice dark green. Okay, so there's the green. I'm afraid this could get long, <laughs> this video here, when you're having to choose from so many. Okay, let's get this smaller category, some browns here. Here's Sitz Cruise Knock Chestnut Brown from Pen Friend in Indiana. Okay, and then... Oh yes, I've had this a while and I actually ended up with two small samples, so I have enough um, to really look at it. It's uh, Noodler's Black Swan and English Roses. And Black Swan and Australian Roses is one of my all-time favorites from my very beginning of getting into the hobby. Okay, here's another one. Roar and Klinger Sapia. It's dark. It is. It really is. It, uh, it's looking about like it looks right there on the camera. So there's three brown to think about. Okay, and then um, well, let's go to black, which is something that I realized today I haven't, I don't think I've ever reviewed a black ink. And it's not I don't like black, I just take it for granted, I think. Um, here's Sitz Cruise Knock Granite Black. Very interesting. Um, Pelican Edelstein Onx. Interesting. Dark, dark, and... Oh, here's another interesting one. Um, I happen to really like this brand of ink, but it's very expensive. Um... Bunga Box Silent Nights. That has some very interesting uh, stuff it does on the ink index anyway. Oh, ended up with a gray in here. Noodler's Lexington Gray, which I, ha I have seen before. And we've got it on a panel, I think. But still, be nice to focus on it separately. Um, and then J. Arbonne Stormy Gray, which is a shimmer ink. Okay, so there's those five for your, in case you want to vote for one of those. <laughs> All right, um, got two, three more categories. Okay, this one was in a category by itself. <laughs> Noodler's Base State Cranberry. It's like a bright pink, just like it looks right there. So it's quite coming through quite, quite naturally, I think. There we go. And then we've got three yellows. <clears throat> Private Reserve Buttercup. Okay, Willie thinks it's supper time, but it's early. Uh, Blackstone Golden Waddle. Huh. Bright, bright. And then <laughs> Noodler's Firefly. That looks like um, highlighter ink, but interesting nonetheless. My goodness. Okay, so that's those four. Now we'll go to purple, and then we'll go to the unusuals. The maybe hard to obtain, not sure you want to vote for them or not. Um, okay. First one is Private Reserve Ebony Purple. Okay. And then um, Noodler's Bay State Conquered Grape with a caution that came on the label. And I, I think that's because it could, it's probably quite permanent. It could probably stain a pen. I, I'm not going to worry though. I get my serendipity cleaned out right quick and I haven't had any trouble. So, <coughs> excuse me, I'm pretty sure we'll be okay with that. It may take a little special cleaning. Ah, same with this one. This one is uh, KWZ Iron Gall Gummy Berry. But I've used this and I'm sure it'll be just fine. Um, it, it is their um, Iron Gall from that company means it's their, their permanent, I believe. That's, that's my understanding anyway. Okay, here's another one. It may not be quite purple, but Oroshizuku Yamabuto, which I've written with, but I've not reviewed. So that's interesting. And then um, Bunga Box Lamont, which I fell crazy in love with after getting two samples from a pen friend. I still couldn't keep myself from buying a bottle. And that doesn't happen that often with the luxury inks. The higher end ones um, happens occasionally. It has a gold sheen. It's, I don't know, it's just so pretty. 
So there's um, one, two, three, four, five of those. Okay, now this last category comes with the disclaimer that, um, you know, if you want to see a review on these or have, have me write and panel it and everything, that's good. But just to keep in mind, you might not want to throw your vote at something that may be hard to find. Most likely has to be gotten from like estate sales or on eBay or things like that. Or in, in the case of uh, specially mixed and made ones, may be impossible to come by. But still, if it's interesting enough, I thought I'd go ahead and show these. Um, you know, especially out of uh, thank you and respect to the people who have sent me these samples. So the first one is Vintage Schaefer Script Persian Rose. It's kind of a dusty pink. And I think you saw it on one of the panels from a, a recent... Um... Oh, it doesn't want to go all the way down there and focus. Shoot, that's too bad. Maybe I'll bring it in a little. Okay. And then Schaefer's, Schaefer Script number 22, Blue Black, which I did look up just a little and it said it was permanent. So, okay. And then... Um, Schneider Violet. I don't know anything about this company, but I think it may be from Germany. And maybe it's easy to get where you are. Um, I don't know about those in the U.S., but so we'll learn as we go. It's kind of a purple. Nice. Um, and then this one is um, Schneider Blue Black is what it translates to. And um, it's pretty. So, but I, again, I don't know how, you know, I don't think those are, are vintage. I think but I'm not sure if they're available or not. So, okay, then these four, five are um, from a pen friend who mixes her own ink. Annie's Blue Mix. Pretty, pretty. And we may be able to get formula or, or what was included on these. So, uh, Noodler's Brexit is actually um, unique to the UK, I believe. And so, um, I've, it's very special to have a sample of this. So, that's something that, I mean got viewers from all over so that's interesting and then another of her um own creations annie's pendle water it's a beautiful blue it may be just a little darker than how it's coming across let's see if i can yeah it's pretty close though oh i was gonna try to fix it so you could still see them but <laughs> okay then um annie's mix which is purple Ooh, isn't that pretty <laughs> and i think in in, in her letter i think includes which inks it was but not the ratio so I can look that up if we review that one and then um oh okay so and then this is a separate one Annie's purple mix isn't that pretty real okay so there's two this is Annie's mix and this is Annie's purple mix I was mixing you up by saying by calling this other one purple even though it sort of is a plum or anyway those are beautiful okay so let's pick these up um, and we will, hopefully your device can go back and forth if you want to see stuff again. Okay, and then these are true vintage ones and probably just, you know, difficult to come by. Um, vintage Schaefer script number two red, which kind of more looks almost pink. Very interesting. Whoops, if I get it just right, it looks quite like it does, so. And then this is 1950s Hungarian Exa brown. Okay. And then 1950s Hungarian Exa Umber, which you've seen on a panel. I had that on the panel earlier today when we were reviewing um, Honey Bee. So you've seen that a little bit. And then Vintage Schaefer Script number 42 Blue, which is a light, light blue it looks like. At least it does on the index. Sometimes they fool you when you get them in a pen. And then Lake Erie Custom Ink. I have a little tiny question mark. I don't know about this at all and maybe someone else will um so although i have an adequate sample to do what i do i don't know whether uh, others would be able to find it you know so that's that was my concern on these last ones okay folks that is 72 uh, 73 ink samples including our our beginning panel there that was uh that, that I had time back before when I don't know what was going on. Probably I still had my hobble and I was not, not walking around good. We are having beautiful weather here in South Texas today. It's cool. The, all the windows are open. We did brush work. We've got a truck full ready to go to the dump. And yet still creative time and all that. So 
it's just a wonderful day. And I want you guys to let me know if there are some that stick out that you'd like to see. And like I said, I anticipate there may be more than eight votes. So I'll put them all in a hat and choose. You know, that way it can be, you know, fair. And it's not the only eight series that we'll do. So um, it's just that I want this little bridge to take us from now till when we get the um, ink flight. So... Thank you very much for your time and for uh, considering which ones you might like to see. And then we'll, we'll probably end up with a good variety, I would imagine. So thank you very much, and I'll see you in the comments, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.